Hi guys, Bob for Bob's Movie Review here, and today I want to bring you my new Blu-ray and DVD collection update for December 2016. If you enjoyed the video, please leave it a like rating. Alright, I know I'm extremely late on this one, guys, um, and I've said it a million times already, you know, I just got sick, and uh, the weather kind of really put a damper on getting things done, and uh, I'm trying to catch up now. I was a little lazy this this on uh, my days off though. I was supposed to watch Inferno. I never got around to it. I know. Um, so let's just look at what I picked up last month. If I made any videos on it, I'll try to mention it to you guys. So first up, uh, we have the December Horror Pack, and I definitely did an unboxing of that. Um, four Blu-rays for twenty-five dollars, and uh, came with a Christmas horror story. Now I already owned this one. Um, I watched some of it. I never finished it though. Um, it's like an anthology style Christmas horror um, And there, I think there's kind of like something that ties them together. I don't remember for sure uh, It definitely seemed interesting, but I definitely do need to go back and watch this um, We got a uh, cell count which is signed by the director I believe um, That's all is that a horror pack exclusive? I think, I think it is, and it's also signed, kind of in a gold or something. Uh, John Carpenter's The Ward, I had never heard of this one. Um, and then Chrome Skull Laid to Rest 2, I've never seen any of the Chrome Skulls. Um, I ended up getting this one on Amazon, Hands of Stone, I don't remember if this was 10 or 15 or what. Um, Boxing movie could be interesting, but I haven't even opened that one yet uh, Got Pete's dragon the new Disney live-action animation Type thing uh, again. I haven't even opened this one yet. I think this one ended up being like 15 on Amazon We got Sully um, I did do the review of this after I saw it in theaters um, I have yet I have not watched it yet since I purchased it. This is the 4k. This was I think 30 um, I, I really enjoyed this one. Um, a lot of people try to tell me, you know, without seeing it, of course, that they don't understand how it could be good or they don't want to see it or whatever. But I mean, if you're not, if you didn't watch this one, you're missing it, guys. Um, I did do an unboxing of that one. Um, Snowden uh, with Joseph Gordon Levitt, where he plays Edward Snowden. Um, I did unbox this one and review it. Um, I don't know. To me, this movie was just kind of slow, and, you know, obviously they're going from the source material. But to me, it was just a little too slow to really get into. It was interesting and definitely worth at least one watch. But, uh, yeah, I was kind of bored through most of that. Uh, we got Family Guy, um, season 14. Um, I did enjoy this one. I don't remember specifically which episodes this has. Um, but I don't think I had seen most of them yet. So uh, I definitely enjoyed this one. I have boxed this one. It's like 15, I think, from uh, Best Buy. Got the Best Buy exclusive uh, Jason Bourne uh, Steelbook 4K Blu-ray. Uh, I did unbox this one. I haven't watched it yet. Uh, I've said this a million times. I'm not a big fan of these kind of spy movies, and I just always get bored, and I think the stories are kind of dumb. And I wasn't a big fan of the other three Bourne movies, but I just got this one because it was a Steelbook. Um, Magnificent 7 Best Buy exclusive book. My dad borrowed this and he put it in wrong and then I put it back in wrong. Um, let's see. This, I think I already said this is that Best Buy. I think this one was 28 or something. Uh, I did do an unboxing of this. I have not watched it yet though. I, my dad was watching it and I kind of I watched some of it with him. Uh, it has um, Chris Pratt and Ethan Hawke and Denzel Washington. And what's that guy's name? Uh, Vincent D'Onofrio. I don't know. It seemed okay. It didn't seem great or anything, but I missed, you know, kind of the whole beginning. So I didn't know uh, everything that was going on. This is kind of a Western, you know, kind of, kind of. It is a Western. This steel book, I don't know. It's not the greatest. I mean, I kind of like it, but uh, they really let us down with no inside art or disc art or <laughs> the really cheap J card and, and not the greatest artwork. So, I mean, that's okay. I don't hate it, but I definitely don't love it. And the last up, I know, this was a small one this this month, uh, Suicide Squad. 
I did unbox this. I never put up a review. I did not enjoy this one. Uh, to me, I kind of felt like, and some people think this one's, I don't know, people are so weird. Some people are like, this is the greatest movie ever. Some people are like, it's the worst movie ever. Some people say it's worse than Batman vs. Superman. Some people say it's better than Batman vs. Superman. Uh, to me, I like this one better than the last couple uh, DC movies. And I think a lot of people are just disappointed in uh, Zack Snyder's kind of vision of the DC universe or whatever. And, you know, being so dark and gloomy and, you know, grainy. Like, I'm just even talking about just the way they're all filmed. They don't even look like, you know, modern triple-A high-dollar titles, you know, because they're always so dark and the colors are so muted. And the, the, the images look grainy, and I'm like, shouldn't this at least be clear? And I guess... I guess it's a style, I don't know. But uh, this one kind of fixed a lot of that stuff. It's more colorful, um, kind of more cheery, you know, a little more energy. Uh, f filmed fine, like I, I would not complain anything about the way this was filmed. But the story and the characters are terrible. <laughs> the story is so not worth watching and so convoluted and the, the villains are like just horrible like this horrible you don't even care <laughs> uh and even some of the i mean the the good guys in this movie are villains and i mean like one of them dies like five seconds in you're like who was that and no oh, who cares like and then you end up feeling like that about basically everyone the joker he isn't even part of the suicide squad like you would think he would be like the main character he's like a a cameo appearance a little a slightly more than a cameo appearance in this one uh, Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn to me was just super annoying and I was just waiting I was like please just kill her let her die like I don't want to see her anymore it's so annoying and the only character that was any good that people are really going to care about is Deadshot or whatever his name is played by Will Smith and the only reason anybody's going to care about him is because he wants to see his daughter again so it's like oh the poor guy he wants to see his daughter that's the only reason why anybody will care about him, his character, any of the characters in this movie, um, the, the story, I don't even know, it's just, you have real, I guess most of them haven't really been introduced yet, I mean, you have Superman, do you really need to get all these people who are criminals to try to protect you, can't you just get Superman? Of course, I think at this point, they think he's dead, I guess that makes sense, <sighs> whatever. I'm sorry if you guys loved it. I hated it. I, did, I didn't like it. I did feel like it was a step in the right direction. I feel like, um, you know, it was it was in many ways more enjoyable than Batman vs. Superman and uh, The Dark Knight Rises. And was there another one? Maybe not. Uh, but, I, but I also just feel like... Was there another one? Well, Man of Steel. Um, but I just feel like these characters... To, to me, okay, the biggest issue with this movie is you're thrown, like, these five, six uh, criminal characters, and you get almost no backstory, you, you get, you don't know who they are, I mean, like, I don't even know who they, what their names are, like, even after watching the movie, um, there's Deadshot, and there's Harley Quinn, and the Joker, but, I mean, everybody knows the Joker and Harley Quinn, I didn't know Deadshot, but, like, there was, like, that lady with the sword, and the guy with the boomerang, and was there was there more? I don't even remember. Oh yeah, there's like the gangbanger and the the, the soldier, and it, it's just why? Who cares? You know. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that is it. I want to let you guys know that I did. Alright guys, well that is it. I want to let you guys know that I did start another channel and it's just going to be about vlogging and uh, like behind the scenes. It, it's not necessarily about movies, although there could be <coughs> movie related stuff in it. Uh, it's about me and my weight loss journey and just life in general and kind of things I go through and there's going to be like workouts and meals and you know just it's it's not gonna only be that but i mean it's it's gonna be just vlogs and 
me and every day and if you guys want to check it out I'll leave a link in the description I'm not really sure if there's anything you can search for to find it right now because uh, they don't let you put a custom URL till 30 days after you started or something and I, I tried looking up the name it's Hulk Bob vlogs but uh, nothing came up it might it might now I'm not sure but I'll leave a link first link in the description uh, if you guys want to check that out that'd be cool if not I mean that's cool too cool either way but thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed the video remember to give it a thumbs up I always appreciate it if you haven't already subscribe for more videos check out the suggested videos and I'll see you guys next time